Hello everyone, my name is Shrexy, and today I'm going to teach you how to make the absolute best GP in old school RuneScape free to play. Now, I have the quickest, best guides on the internet so as not to waste your time, so if this helps you out, please like and subscribe to help me out as well. Thank you. Alright, so what we're going to be doing to make the best money in free to play is actually going to be mining Runite Ore. Now the requirements that I have set for this guide are as so. 85 mining, which is the minimum requirement to mine Runite, that's okay, you could do it with the bare minimum. At least 75 defense, going the, the level 3 skiller route is not the route to take for this method. You are going to get clapped 50 shades of pink from every direction from all the pures and low levels that are going to look for just level 3's to kill. So if you want to do this method, you're going to go ahead and set you up a free to play tank. So, with that being said, you're going to need 40 ranged as well, and that's so that you have access to Green Dragonhide, which is like the best free-to-play tank gear for that deep wildy adventure, and you must also complete Dragon Slayer 1 so you can wear that D-Hide top. Alright, so the gear for this setup is actually quite simple. It, it's super straightforward, there's zero risk involved in this, the most you're risking is like 3,000 uh, GP, and one Runei Ore is over 11,000 GP, so hear me out, this is great. Uh, so for the helmet slot, we have the Runite Helm, and for the shield slot, we have the Runite Kite Shield. This is very important, those two slots, you're not going to lose them if you die, and they provide a lot, the maximum defense bonuses you could acquire in free-to-play. For the hand slot, we have the Runite Pickaxe, so you could say a soft core requirement for this would be 40 attack, but if you got the other requirements that I have listed, chances are 40 attack's not an issue for you. If it is an issue, then just don't wield it. Um, for the cape slot, we have the cabbage cape. You can get it at Diango's uh, toy shop, super cheap. I think maybe even like 200 GP uh, in Draenor Village. For the necklace, we have the amulet of power. That is super cheap, super cheap on the Grand Exchange. For the top, bottom, and glove slot, we have just green D hide across the board. You could buy the whole set on the Grand Exchange together and then exchange the set for all three pieces. And for the boots, we have the leather boots because they are the only boots in free to play that uh, give you a positive defense bonus other than maybe the warrior boots from the Stronghold of Security. This is the way to go though, absolutely. So what makes this gear so effective is the most you're risking is like 4,000 gold. You're not going to take any damage because the worst thing you're going to come across in the wilderness on free to play is a willow short bow with like adamant arrows and maybe a rune scimitar. If they're feeling extra super spicy, they're going to bring a rune to age, but chances are in deep wildy, that's a little too big risk for a lot of these free to play PKers. So this gear is literally perfect with this setup. You should really never die. If you have at least 75 defense, you should be able to always tank. I have not died once. To Doing this method with this gear. Okay, as you can see here from my beautiful illustration, uh, we're going to be starting down at the Ferox Enclave. You can check your map, search that up to find it if you don't know where it's at. We're going to start at the Ferox Enclave. We're going to walk a very careful straight line up, right from the Ferox Enclave, up past up around the, the lava maze up there, because there's a whole lot of multi-combat zone to the right and then to the top. We're going to have to walk through maybe f maybe 16 squares, something like that, maybe a little more of multi-combat zone. But with the gear that we're going to bring for the setup, this isn't a problem. I've literally been attacked by four players at once and been froze in this multi-combat zone multiple times. As I said, I've yet to die doing this. I don't think it's possible to actually kill somebody that has any sort of tank gear and ability to play the game in free to play. Surprisingly enough, inventory wise, it's actually really simple as well. We're just rocking eight anchovy pizzas. They heal nine HP per bite, two bites each, making them the best healing food in all of free to play at 18 per inventory slot. So we're bringing eight anchovy pizzas. And we're bringing four energy potions. Why four? You only need about three full energy potions to run from the rocks and back. The extra one is a just in case, oh shit, I just got there and uh, I'm a little lower on run energy and I need to get the hell out of there kind of deal. Alright everybody, this is obviously everybody's favorite part of the guide where I do a live walkthrough of what this looks like. Uh, I'm obviously going to speed things up here, um, so I'm probably going to look like an idiot in the little corner. Right here is the pool of refreshment, that's important for later. But uh, once at the Paradox Enclave Bank, just go ahead and pass through north. Uh, you guys can figure the rest out on your own as far as getting there and all that. Um, that this isn't a guide for that. 
Uh, we are going to run north, but uh, pay attention here. Our run energy went to about 80, now we walk. We want to conserve our run energy for when we actually get to the rocks. We don't want to waste any of our energy sips uh, any time before that. Um, if I go north up here, you can take a look at uh, where we're going as we're going. But uh, we just got to go straight up here past all this uh, where the hunter spot where the hunter spots at on uh, pay to play. And once we get past all this, we can go ahead and swing around the lava maze, as I said from earlier. So just go ahead and stick around, and uh, I'll speed this up. We'll get there. Alright, just be careful here, because there are moss giants as well as skeletons. Uh, so you want to go ahead and avoid all of that. Um, they're not going to do any damage to me if you meet the skill requirements that I laid out in the beginning. As far as like a higher defense level, mine's 85. I have it on the block style, which I recommend because that gives you more defense, which is going to help you tank out here, which matters in free to play. Uh, but now that we're up by the lava maze, go ahead and pass the rev cave entrance. Uh, at this point, you can sprint. See this hard line here? This is the multi line. So we need to run through here, which by the way, if you go to the plugin hub, there's a plugin for that. Uh, but as you can see, we're in multi. So we're going to go ahead and run our happy ass as quickly as fucking possible out of multi. Let's go ahead and... and look at that. There's two rune rocks. Here's the thing. I think Jagex got on top of the bots or something because all of a sudden there's rune rocks available. But there is strategy to this. Um, so we're mining these rocks because we need money and we're broke. Okay, sorry. I got off track a little bit. So what we're going to do, there is strategy to this, we're going to be mining the ore, we're going to go to our world switcher here, we are on 426 at the moment, do not listen to any other guide that's like, figure out a world, mine a world, set a timer for 12 minutes, don't listen to any of that shit, they're wrong. Go down the list, I don't care if you're competing with other people, let them get annoyed. Go down this list, world for world, one at a time, and mine all of this rune. And if there's people there, just compete with them. Aggravate them. Let them move. Let them figure it out. Just keep going down the worlds. As you see rocks, go to mine them no matter what. If there is a blue rock on your screen, you should be mining. And that's, that's how this method works. Um, apparently, this is like a god tier money maker right now. Because uh, there you go. Three worlds in a row. And there's still rocks. Uh, as you can see, uh, I have player indicators on. There's somebody under me that I actually can attack. But uh, very important, have your PK skull prevention setting on. And uh, just make sure that you don't skull up. And you'll be good. So we're going to fill all of the empty space in our inventory. We're not going to touch any of the other space. We're going to save all of the supplies for uh, getting out of here alive. So that guy stole that rock. So now, now here's a little tip for y'all do a space and then see what level they were he was like level 66 he dipped out of here but do a space slash level 66 my world and like type it like that like fuck it up a little bit and that makes them think that you have a clan when in all reality you have no friends just like me and you're mining fucking rune on free to play because this is the only way to put bread on the table uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and nab a full inventory, and then I'll show you guys the route back, and if I get attacked, I'll show you guys how to tank, because, uh, that's literally the fun part. I love it, actually. Um, also, a little tip here, uh, if you open up your plugins, uh, if you open up the plugin hub, you can go ahead and pull up the inventory viewer plugin, and then I can stay on my world switcher. Which I know you could do your world switcher over on uh, the sidebar of Runelite as well. But I like this. Um, I just like it down here because uh, it's very nice and uniform. Alright, right here's a level 124. Let's see if he attacks me. Alright, he's on me. Alright, so this is the plan. Go ahead and pray against whatever he's on. Run through multi as soon as possible. Don't take time to sit and chat. If you need to get rid of your inventory viewer, get rid of your inventory viewer. It doesn't really bother me, but I'll do it for the Zontem. 
as uh, in the wise words of Odoblock. You're going to go ahead and eat your pizza while you run back around the way that you came. You're going to stick as close to the lava maze as possible, continue drinking your energy potions, drop vials to disrespect your opponent. Continue down as soon as you can eat a bite. As soon as you can eat a bite, go ahead and fucking eat a bite. Uh, I'm a, I, I really hope you have overheads because they'll really help at this moment. Um, as you can see, this dude is a beefcake level 124. I am a measly level 100 with a rune pickaxe. He has no ability to, to kill me. So as long as I'm able to fill my inventory with rune, guess what? I'm immortal now. Look at my run energy. It's getting low. How come nobody told me? At this point, I could log out. I could have logged out. I could still log out. Look at him. He's slowing down. Why? Because he didn't have the fucking energy potions. He's a high level, and he ain't got nothing on me. Why? Because he didn't watch the guide. You just have to watch the guide and have a good understanding. By the way, PKing at that spot is not worth it unless you're killing low levels. Because as you can see with me, it's impossible to kill an account that is prepared for being attacked. So, this is the cherry on top. I didn't get a full inventory for the guide, but this is the cherry on top to prove to y'all that my guide not only works, uh, you can get out there and get your room, but you could very, very, very easily survive in this setup with this gear. Uh, banking's real easy. Let's go ahead and grab- oh, oh, Don't grab that many. Uh, fuck. Go ahead and grab eight more anchovy pizzas, and... For me, I'll need to grab three more energy potions. Go ahead and deposit all that rune ore. As you can see, I've been at it a little bit with 309 rune ore. This is kind of the meta right now, so I'm going to be on that. And uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> thank you so much for watching if you have. And uh, like and subscribe, all that good stuff, if it helps. If it didn't, dislike. Call me a scumbag in the comments. It's fine. Have a nice day, everybody. Peace out.